A bantamweight I had high hopes for back in the early 1990s was Fast Eddie Cook. Uh, however, his career was short-lived. He only fought from 1990 to 1994 and took off the entire year of 93. He did win the WBA bantamweight title and held it for seven months, but he had a fighting style that just didn't lend itself to a long career. Uh, he eventually lost the title to Jorge Julio in Colombia and retired after an eight-round knockout defeat to Marco Antonio Barrera. Uh, he left boxing and went on to become a real estate agent in Richmond, Virginia. So in this particular fight against Humberto Gonzalez, uh, we get a glimpse at Cook's rare power for a bantamweight, and we could see how so many people were excited about his potential. And yet, Eddie Cook will be quick to tell you that he does not go in there thinking, I'm going to get the guy out of there. In fact, he's been saying that he's been trying to work on being patient. And he is the kind of uh, boxer who, by, as you said, even the amateurs, puts lots of combinations together. He had, a, in effect, a pro style, but because he threw so many punches, he was effective in the amateurs as well. I remember when you and I saw him at the Olympic Festival, he banged everybody out of there. He oh, did boy. not have a decision. A lot of power, even at the amateur level. Left hand, down goes Gonzalez. sure Richard Steele's convinced. I think he wants to give Gonzalez one more chance and it's not going to go long. No, it's not. This one is going to be over in a big hurry. Steele hovering around That's it. Them. Well stopped. And Eddie Cook, not yet, has had a real test. For the crowd not pleased, Gonzalez came in with a 10-2 and two record. In truth, didn't look like a 10-2 and two fighter. No. Whereas a Calzada looks like he's 12-1. and one. This guy didn't look 10-2, and two, but that guy, Eddie Cook, went about his business in a very workmanlike fashion and got his knockout, which is all he's required to do. Let's take another look at that left hand now. It's going to be really a straighter punch even than I remembered it being when, he, when it happened live. And Eddie looking at the body and going up to the head. And uh, he just, it's just an excellent left hand. And he's been throwing some of his punches in more of a roundhouse fashion. But obviously, uh, the gentleman there in the corner, uh, Percy Richard, Ken Adams uh, also involved, Percy Richardson, Murkison, they have been working on straightening those punches, and he is doing it. Did a very good job tonight. Hard to really get a good judgment because of the caliber of competition. Officially now with Michael Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Richard Steele steps in to stop this bout at one minute. 23 seconds of the very first round. That is knockout in the first round, number seven for Eddie Cook. His record now, nine and oh, nine KOs. Eddie Cook! So Eddie Cook now, nine and oh. Uh, you can't get it any better than that. He's knocked everybody he's seen out, and this time he gets his man out in the first round. When we come back, we'll talk with Eddie Cook. Well, there's a look at a man who is now 9-0 with nine knockouts. He has done it exactly like Akbar Muhammad told him to. Here's Al Bernstein. And, and who better to be a mentor to him than Akbar Muhammad? Eddie Cook, again, a quick win for you. And in a way, I know you want a little more work, but it's not so bad to knock these guys out with one punch. Yeah, that's right. Um, like you say, I wanted to work, but I saw the opportunity, so I took it. All right, let's go and look at that that major punch. I mean, you, you didn't knock him out with just the one, but that's what really... You, you fainted downstairs and then went up. Yeah, exactly. Head. See, I started off going to the body. He was going for the feints. So I fainted downstairs and came over top with an overhand left and caught him. Now, you've been in some bouts that have been one in which in, in which you were even down once, and so people look at it and say, oh, boy, he's got to work on his defense, and uh, they, they talk about that ad nauseum. But you are working on your defense, and in many respects, except for that one bout, it hasn't been so bad. Exactly. That's, that's basically what I'm working on is my defense because my offense is already there. So, you know, I just got to get the defense down, and then I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be ready. All right, Ken Adams and Alton Murkison working diligently with you in the gym. Do you, are you seeing a lot of improvement, Kenny? Oh, uh, seeing, well, I guess we could say 80% are better, especially in the defensive mold. Uh, and basically, that's what we have been working on, you know, like for the past, in between our fights, and, and basically, that's what I've been doing a lot of, working on slipping the hooks, coming back for combinations, and hey, I can say we're very pleased, even in the sparring, and, uh, and we get some hell of a sparring with Akeem, uh, Kennedy McKinney, uh, Jerome Coffey. Hey, we get a lot of good work, so we are utilizing that in the gym, and it's paying off. 
Okay, thank you, Kenny. Congratulations, Eddie. I want to say hi Quick to my one. son. Let me say hi to my son because they they getting on me because I want to speak to my son. I would say hi, hi, Javon. All right, all right. Well, we got one in. There you go. You owe me one, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie Cook with a very big win and uh, showing us that he is working on that defense, but all he needed tonight was offense. We'll be back with Ringside Report.